Did you ever visit in somebody's house and you use their bathroom and the bathroom sink is crumbling underneath? Why does this happen? It's because water spills over the edge and rots the underneath particle board. The pressed wood under the sink top has been exposed to water. Water is being absorbed into the wood, causing damage and dry rot. The wood starts to bulge up and crumbles. Long-term moisture can cause mold and mildew, dissolving the glue that holds the wood fibers together. But how could I fix this? What was happening is, is these upside down ant hills or mole hills would form as a result of the composite wood swelling. Just sawdust glued together and when water would get underneath of it, it would swell up. As we're scraping it away, why it's here to suck it away with the vacuum cleaner. The big pieces you can stick in the trash can. But how could I fix this? I looked around in their house and in the garage and I found the answer. Tight Bond 2 Premium Wood Glue. This wood glue is one part water-based and passes the anti-type 2 water resistance specifications, whatever that means. That's what it says on their website. It's ideal for exterior woodworking projects, including outdoor furniture, birdhouses, mailboxes, planters, and picnic tables, whatever. But anyway, I could get Gorilla Glue that's used for exterior stuff or some type of Elmer's glue that's used for wood projects. All I needed to do is paste it on there and seal it. How long does it take to dry? It's a good question. It will dry in probably about an hour. It's non-toxic, it washes up with water, but when it dries, it's really gonna dry well. So it says this type two premium provides a strong initial tack which means it sets up fast. Uh, it also says that it's FDA approved for indirect food contact, like cutting boards as well. See this here? This glue, I'm gonna wipe this off with a damp paper towel. Get a damp paper towel. Yep. And wipe off them. all the excess. All the excess, you're gonna wipe them. Coating it nice and well. Coating it really good. Paper towel. Glue's starting to dry, so. And I get this, I'm going to get one of these chisels and lightly scrape off the glue. Lightly scrape off the glue. Get a flathead screwdriver if you have one, also. Yeah, that would be okay, but it's not wide enough. Yeah, getting the excess glue off. As you can see, rubbing it. We're going to get it off the top of this thing here. Could have put a piece of tape across here, blue tape, and then peeled it off. But it's okay, you can't see under there. So that shouldn't swell up anymore. There's some area on the side here I'm going to hit too a little bit. We'll wipe away this excess. Wyatt, please get me a, a paper towel again. Hi. When water drips over the edge, it will not cause swelling underneath. So here we are. It's finished. It should be dry in about an hour and the next time water spills over the sides going to be sealed out and it shouldn't bulge up any longer so for indie tommy tips i'm tommy have a great day and thanks for watching and oh yeah please consider subscribing and giving it a thumbs up and sharing it as well bye now